We're live. We're live. With the Goa fam, we are live. Just about not yet. Game We're on. just in the stream. Is starting bit. The bit where the stream is starting. Oh, ah, yeah. That's where we are right now. That's all it says. Hello, Ooh. fat gamer. Hello, Rossi. Hello, Gamma. Night Shepherd Kaiser is Kai Raphael Farmer and Sticks. And everybody who is hanging around as well, man. Thonzo and well. Gamma and Sammy Cat and Raphael Farmer and Rossi. And we just got a another subscription from Straight Jack. Okay, Jim. Awesome. Awesome. Hello, Bluey. We got some good stuff for you guys tonight. Yes. And we encourage you guys as well to go and get some headbands as well. To wear your headbands while you are watching. So you can watch a headband with us. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, let's get on with it. Game on of headbands. Danny boy, we're on. We're bloody we're on. on. Hey, Game Danny on. boy! Game on! Hey, Hello. Piggy boy! Hello, good Danny boy. boy. How are you, mate? Yeah, good, mate. How are you? I'm going well. I like your headband. I love your headband. Thank you very much. Um, Yours wins the game, mate. This is uh, it's, it's, a, it's quite a good headband. So um, for people who will be listening to this, and welcome to all of our Twitch viewers, but for people who will be listening to this um, as we speak, I've got the... The unicorn headband with the rainbow ears. That's yeah. what I've got going on right now. Oh, and thank yeah. you for gifting all of those sub sticks, you bloody legend. Dawnfire, Jim Pay, Jack Madaz, Unk Scorp, and Alexicon One. All get subs right now. Sub hype going on. I think I think they maybe they're going for a train. Who knows? But Dan, uh, and yours? You would, Mine would you like sort to of looks like yours? something. Mine looks like something Wilma Flintstone would wear. Wilma. I think it's sort of, yeah, it's like a, um, something the B-52s would wear. The chicks in the B-52 singing would probably wear some like this. It's, it's like a, a weird, it's a bloody, it's a beauty. pinkish. Yeah. Yeah, it's like I a, just said to my daughter, I saw you and I thought, well, I'll get, I'll get one too. Why not? Is that fuchsia? Is that coral yeah, fuchsia? Yeah, it's fuchsia. Yeah, it's is that fuchsia, like a coral pink. or a fuchsia or something? Yeah, coral. Coral's and then, good. Uh, yeah, coral. And it's got leopard prints. Leopard print, black yes. leopard print spots. Rawr. Yes, right. Like a tiger. You're a gaming lion, <laughs> you bloody gaming lion. Look at you go. Look at um, you go, mate. Look at um, your beautiful long hair. That's and thank, thank you, Simi, for the cheers as well. And a hype train is incoming, guys. We're on the yeah. hype train <laughs> for <laughs> Wednesday night. Here we go, you bloody ripper. We have a limited time to earn some exclusive emotes on the hype trains. Uh, if you yeah. are listening to us on the podcast... Hello, and thank you so much. Um, it is great to have you along, and of course, to those of you watching right now, we are doing this in isolation from our homes. Uh, Rossi has cheered 500 bits. Thank you, good sir. Um, and Timmy has subscribed as well. This is bloody yes. legendary. God, bloody it's already best. going off, mate. Um, my name is Pete. My name is Dan Internet. And for the next hour, we're going to bang out about games, because we bloody love gaming, Dan. And Pete. Yes, Dan. <sighs> What else do we bloody love? 
Ah, oh, shit. Shit. I just uh, found a matching uh, scrunchie. Uh, you've got to a matching scrunchie right? to go with your headband. <laughs> yeah. I, love bloody, I love scrunchies and I love headbands, but there's oh, something else I bloody love. I know no. you bloody love it too, Pete. Um, I'm just thinking. Uh, mm. No, nah, it does start with G, Simi. It's not G Sport. It's not G Sport, um, which we do. I mean, we do love it. We do love the G Sport, but it's. I, I don't think it's that. Um, G, G Strings? I do. Quite like a G String. I do. Not a a clacker every now and then? Yeah. <laughs> Where, like not not looking at them, wearing them. No, yeah, of course. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I don't know what these people were thinking watching on Twitch right now. <laughs> yeah. You bloody pervs. Get your minds out of the here, you um, gutty, you filthy Jesus. animal. Oh, Peter, what is it? It's not pizza shaped sticks, although I like pizza shapes. Oh, they're good too. What's your favourite shape? Uh, I love the see. I love the pizza back in the day, but I'm sort of more now a barbecue kind of guy. Are you? Yeah, right. Okay. What are you? I'm a I am a um, bacon, hundred percent bacon. Oh, hundred yeah, yeah, percent yeah. bacon. And I reckon bacon's one of the forgotten glory ones. It's one of those ones where um, you know, if you say bacon to someone when it comes to shapes, they go, they go, oh yeah, oh yeah, they're pretty. I good. think I've ever had bacon actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I tell you what, a, a, a great gaming snack. Yeah, is the shape. Yeah, because it's not not so greasy. Yeah, no, I agree. Because and they're still because... one hand of the controller. Oh, that's what it is, Pete. What? Gaming. Oh shit. Gaming. <laughs> it's bloody gaming. It <laughs> it's bloody gaming, Peter. Oh my oh, god. No, I'm not joking. Um, yeah, of course, I bloody love gaming. Because they're baked, not fried. Yes, that's, that's right. why. That's why. <laughs> oh goodness me. And not greasy. Oh, Dan. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Oh, we've just uh, had a little bit of um, uh, Twitch inception there. I put that on the wrong screen. Oh. Um, Arnott's should sponsor Goa. I completely agree with you. You know what? Oh, I'll, well, I'll who bloody... said that? That was an excellent idea. Um, Gamma did. I'll, I'll hit him oh, up this Gamma. week. I'll send him this. Can somebody clip that and send me the link and then I'll send them that link. And then you, you yeah. check it out. Before you know it, we'll be sponsored by Arnott's. The perfect <laughs> gaming snack. Accredited gaming snack by Game on Australia. Yeah. Actually, we Why should up, make... Yeah. We should make... That's a pretty right? great Hang idea. A second. Wait a minute. Hang on a sec. I'm going to write this down in the run sheet. This is this is on the run run sheeting right mm. here. Mm. Um, we mm. need accreditation accreditation criteria. We need to be able to give accreditation yes. for gaming snacks. Gaming anything, Pete. Gaming tracksuit pants. What yep. are the best tracksuit pants to game in? Yep. What um, is the best beer to drink when you're gaming? And it's shapes tonight bloody right. great we're gonna hit that one i reckon dan we're gonna we hit already that know one. that uh nuggets are the best gaming meal oh god how good are nugs oh this i haven't is... had nugs in a long time um okay so let's dive into the top three things that gave zita here this week dun, 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 <laughs> Oh, I miss I'm, oh my, I miss our sound effects board so much. Don't get me wrong, like I, <laughs> yeah. I like I like an acapella, but I miss acapella, doing yeah, this from yeah. the studio. I really it's do. It's been eight weeks of it. Like, yeah, oh come my on, god! Man. Hey, um, back. so the top three things the gamers need to hear this week are the things that we feel that the uh, that the gamers are talking about and need to know a little bit more about. And um, first, cab off the rank, Dan. Living live mm. launched this week. Uh, Game on Australia is living live. So if you've been across our social media over the past sort of uh, few days, you would have seen it light up on Monday with a little initiative we're calling Living Live. Now, this is a a progression from ANZ Live, which we did a couple of weeks ago, uh, almost a month ago now, where for two weeks straight, we yep. provided quarantainment with the wonderful support of the ANZ gaming and content creator community. Pulling Amazing. a three-hour shift each. And, I mean, what a yeah. roster it was. We had 77 streamers across two weeks, 24 yeah. hours a day, seven days a week. It was amazing. But um, we sort of uh, got to the end of it and were like, well, this is so damn good. Um, and people are enjoying it so much. And, and it's giving so much back to the content creators in the ANZ community who are part of our community that we thought, well, how do we, do we create a way for this to keep on going? And obviously, it can't keep on going 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because we just don't have the infrastructure, the resource, the yep, resource right. right? Which is fair enough. Otherwise, we would, but we could at least mm. do like a well. like a like a mini version of it. You know what I mean? And that's where this has come from. Yep. So 12 o'clock, 
AEST to, to 12 midnight virtually, um, bookended by the legendary legend stream team, uh, our core group mm. of streamers, um, your Nikos, your Menthonzos, your Straight Jacket Jims, your Rogue Sultanas, your Reflexes. Um, uh, we are going to be having these wonderful community streamers, grassroots content creators, um, streaming their content on the Game on Oz Twitch channel uh, for the foreseeable future at this stage. I think we've, um, we've sort of set out a roadmap for a month and yep. uh, and we'll sort of see how that goes and then we'll play it by ear from there. But damn, Dan, I, I reckon we've had just some incredible content over the past three days already. Um, yeah, yeah, 100%. The stuff that we're seeing. Uh, and what I'm loving about it is it's it's sort of giving rise to something we've always wanted Game on Australia to be, and that is like a, a bastion of amazing creative content from people who absolutely froth that content. Because you and I, we can't be across everything. Well, that's right. And uh, we know there's other people out there that bloody love gaming as much as we bloody do. So, yeah. you know, bloody that's oath. what this is about. Um, I completely agree. You know, like, I mean, you're, you're an Xbox man, you're an Xbox fan, uh, and you play your Xbox games. So you can't play everything. Um, I'm a PlayStation no, fan. I'm, I'd love to, but I can't. I'd love yeah. to, 100%. Uh, you're a family man, you've got a full-time job. Same, family man, full-time job, all of that sort of stuff. Yep. We can't play everything. Yep. Um, we can't be experts in everything, but you know who can? Our community, and uh, they are lighting yep. up our Twitch stream at the moment. So a round of applause to the wonderful people who've dived yes. in for Living Live. Uh, and if you're watching this right now and you want to get involved, uh, dive on into our Discord and reach out for more information. All right, I've just got to share a little something here. Choo Choo Hype Ship, get involved. Uh, there we go. Thank you guys so much for a wonderful Level 2 Hype Train. It was really good to see. Um and any preppy hands this week? Yes. Dan, I set I set them up. I bloody set them up. Yes. You're not going to believe it. Hang on. Peppy hands. No, wait, that didn't work. Peppy hands. A peppy. No, that didn't work. Uh, peppy oh. ha hands. No, that didn't that didn't work. Guys, I set these up. <laughs> it's always the way. So, Bring back the soundboard. Hang on, maybe I have to put him. Oh, wait a minute. I think I have to do it here. Wait, 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 wait. Peppy hands. No, that didn't work either. Okay, hang on. Try it in Italian accent. <laughs> a peppy hands. What if I go? Um... Oh man, I, I saw you had it done. I really had it done, and it worked. It it really worked before. So for people listening who didn't catch the um podcast last week the show we were on the front page and uh a group of newbies popped in and they were like hey peppy hands they're like, what the hell is peppy hands <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh it's these <laughs> these amazing like memes and stuff and now i can't find them um okay so i've got okay hang on a sec wait if i do this okay so now why does that work hang on Maybe you have to write it exactly as. Ah, uh, I'm not writing it exactly as. Oh, and there you go. So capital P E P E capital H A N D S. Yeah. Bang, peppy hands. Boom. Bang. There we go. Yes. So it is working. Um, but you have to. You guys will have to go into the actual uh, emote menu to find the better TTV channel emotes that I'll put up. So if you're listening to the podcast, you've never been across to um, Twitch and had a look at the show um there is a really deep lore in uh in these emotes and stuff down that we never knew before and now no. we know now we do now we know and they were like you got to get in there get involved mm. like, okay we're gonna do it and we'll so do we've it. done that we bloody did it so we got a few in there uh and we're very excited about it anyway on to the second bit of news that gamers need to hear this week dan dan hey dan hey it's a game about nothing. It's a game about bugger all. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I need I need something from you because you're the bastion of this. Um, thank you, Simi, for uh, gifting that sub to Kaiser. Um, you are the bastion of this, Dan. Can you please take us through Seinfeld the game? Because this yes. is literally a thing. And then, and then after you take us through it, I'm actually going to go and grab the uh, trailer and I'm going to show the right. people watching right now. So, and, and special shout out to Kaiser who uh, sent this link to me today. But uh, a couple of um, 
Melbourne game developers, Pete, Ivan Dixon and Jacob Janerka, have uh, channeled their inner legend suit Larry to bring present to the world a trailer for a new game called Seinfeld Adventure, the game about nothing. Now, when I say trailer, that's all it is at the moment. Um, when I saw the thing today, it sounded like it was actually a game. But what these guys have done is presented and made a uh, prototype for what the game would look like. And essentially, you can play either Jerry, George, or Elaine. You can't play Kramer. You'll see in a moment why you can't play Kramer. Okay. And it's essentially uh, the premise is a point-and-click adventure game, a bit like Legend Suit Larry back in the day or probably something like Curse of Monkey Island or like that. Um, and literally, yeah, it's a game about nothing. They've already written one um, episode called called The Email, but it sounds very <laughs> – for anyone who loves it, for anyone who loves their Seinfeld, um, it sounds suspiciously like. So essentially, the premise of the episode is that uh, Jerry sends his publicist an email to tell her to piss off because something happened. But then they wanted tickets to uh, a show that the publicist had. So the premise was that you got to sneak into her office and delete the email from a computer without her looking, which is very similar to an episode for any time for fans out there. To an episode where uh, they did that with um, George's girlfriend's. Uh, um, answering machine tape. So, oh my god, he, he's answering. There's a, there's a. Is it the same episode where, um, they try to call him? They get his answering machine machine message, and it's dun, 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 no, believe it's it or not, yeah, George no, isn't, George at, isn't home. at home. Please leave, leave a message, message at the beep. After the beep, I, I must be out, out, or I'd pick up the right. phone. Where, Where could we? I be? That's it. Believe it or not, I'm not home. <laughs> Different episode. But, uh, and for anyone listening who's born after 1990, you used to leave have tapes, cassette tapes in answering machine messages, and that's – anyway. So uh, the next step of this is that the boys – and again, like I said, they're Melbourne-based, so Aussie guys um, – are reaching out to Larry David and Jerry Seinfeld, the co-curators, to see if we can get – because obviously they've got the rights to the show. Um, I think it's a bloody great idea. And I actually got a funny feeling this is the kind of thing that they'd probably get behind because it's that, that little bit different. Yeah. Uh, the game is 8-bit uh, retro, fantastic looking. I don't know if you've seen the – well, we're about to see it now, but it just looks great, really suits the show. And, yeah, I reckon it'd be a complete belter if it got off the off – the, uh, off the, the ground. ground. Um, I'm just going to enlarge the display for those people watching on Twitch right now so they get a nice juicy view of this. This is the trailer for Seinfeld the Adventure, uh, a game about nothing. Take a look. Have you ever wanted to be a terrible person with no consequences? Live in a nice apartment in New York and complain about the tiny little inconveniences ruining your life? Now you can with Seinfeld, the game about nothing. Play as Jerry, George, Elaine, but not Kramer. No one can control Kramer. No one. Experience for yourself what it's like to be a lovable, compulsive liar. Feel as if you were dumping beautiful women in New York for trivial reasons yourself. Entertainment Weekly says, being able to play Elaine alone is sponge worthy. New York Times says, who needs violent video games? Being Jerry Seinfeld is the ultimate power fantasy. <laughs> hey, this is Jacob and this is Ivan over here. And uh, we made this. We'd really appreciate your help sharing this around. It really helped us prove how much people actually want this. It's so when good. This world um it's so good it's so bloody good i like even the just they they must be huge fans themselves yeah. because you you sort of look down the barrel of um you know the trailer itself and seinfeld in his apartment they've got his apartment down pat absolutely perfectly yeah 100 percent. all the little what, quotes what and I... everything but even that little yeah. uh sorry even that little thing where you see jerry coming in the apartment and then um the hand goes up uh, it's clearly his hand because it's got the same cuff with the sweater color and yeah, everything. Yeah. And yeah. all the things that are in there, you know, there's cereal, there's junior mints. Like it's, the oh, it's brilliant. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's brilliant. And why I think this would work, um, those two guys, particularly the, the, you know, Larry David and Jerry Seifert, have made a 
bucket load of money out of that, that show, right? Um, and I like it to when I first discovered GoldenEye because when I first discovered GoldenEye, the game on Nintendo 64, I was by no means a James Bond fan at all. At all, right? I was really introduced to James Bond by that game. And I ended up watching GoldenEye about, you know, a, maybe six months after playing the game, you know, and playing it a lot. And the, the, the game was that classic kind of game tie into a movie that actually worked. Yep. The, le- the levels were great. But, you know, you're walking through the facility um, at the beginning and the, uh, across the dam, and it's just like the first level from the game, right? And so I ended up loving James Bond as a result, and I think this is a good way to get a whole new generation of Seinfeld fans into the show. Yeah, I completely agree. And it's um, it's one of those things where, sure, like the, um, the decor dates, but the humour and the comedy doesn't. Like yeah. the, you know, the, because it really was just a show about nothing. It was just your average everyday sort of show where, um, you know, like they'd sort of pick each other apart and they all had their own sort of quirks and everything. But I, funnily enough, I was watching, um, cause it, it's always on television. Always. It, it, yeah. It's on channel, um, in Australia, it's on channel 10 or uh, channel 10's peach. So it's channel 11. It's never every night at eight o'clock. Yeah. Right. It's never not on TV. And, um, mm. it, it was on there the other night and it was the episode where, uh, they borrow George's car. It's uh, the Drake. They go and get a, a, a present oh, for yeah. this big screen TV. Yeah. And then yeah, Kramer yeah. eggs George on to, to parking in the handicapped spot, right? <laughs> I will only be there five minutes, you know, all that sort of stuff. And then chaos ensues. They come back. There's a big crowd. And then they leave. And then they come back and the car's smashed. And But, you know, it's like that, it's, it's so timeless because those sort of conversations in society will never stop. You know, the, 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 the come on, it'll just be five minutes. We'll just park in the handicap spot spot like yeah, yeah, yeah. a big deal you know who's going to use it anyway like blah, blah, that sort of thing and you forget too that that show and this is why i'm hoping uh they have the foresight the um guys that own the, the rights to to talk to these boys because um you know they did a show a whole episode based one in one location being the chinese restaurant you know that yep. whole yeah. show was based at one location that was unheard of back in the day so i think they're pretty forward thinking um I just thought we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye out and see if anything happens. But certainly they're getting press. I mean, we're on it. And uh, I know a few people are on this story. So let's see. Well, um, as we speak, I am going back and forth. I literally, I kid you not, as we speak, I'm typing um, a back and forth yep. uh, LinkedIn DM conversation with Ivan Dixon, who's one of the two uh, animators from the studio. Um, right. and he's just said to me, Hey Pete, let's aim for next week. Uh, Jacob isn't available right now. I'm not familiar with discord. Best to have some time to repair. Thanks. I'm just saying, I'm just asking what's your email address. We'll send over a calendar, uh, invite. It's probably, it's probably uh, Bosco at Ivan.com. <laughs> so if you know what Bosco is, you know what Bosco is. <laughs> oh God. Bosco. Um, uh, right. buddy, buddy, great, Peter. Ripper, mate. Thank you. Looking forward to chatting. Yes. All right, amazing. Um, and, amazing. Uh, that's ama- the magic happening, people. That's the magic happening right that's, there. That's amazing. <laughs> that's how it happens, you guys. That is the magic happening. That is sensational. So we will uh, get a chance to actually catch up with him. That's going to be great. Um, okay, let's move on to the top three things games number. Uh, need to hear number three. Um, this is. This is sensational. You've heard of Animal Crossing, right? I've got my, my daughter's all over it. Right, your daughter's playing it. Have you have you played much with her? No. Uh, she set up um, her brother and her sister. So the three of them now have um, a residence on the island. Uh, I've watched them play it. I haven't played it myself, no. Okay. So um, Animal Crossing, uh, if you've watched them play it, then have you seen them mucking around with decorating, you know, a house that yeah, they yeah, built and stuff yeah, like that? yeah. All right, yep. so this is this is about as good as it gets. You've heard of Queer Eye for the Straight Guy? Yes, I have. Okay. We're in a time at the moment where COVID-19 um, has sort of taken over our lives. So a lot of us are having to adapt to do things a little bit differently or take advantage of some other things that we might be able to do with our talents and skills, okay? Yep. Um, Queer Eye interior designer Bobby Burke, without any actual homes to visit and make over right now, is keeping busy by offering his assistance at turning your Animal Crossing trash pit into oh, something right. easier on the eye. <laughs> uh, 
This is so I bloody brilliant. Um, or at least oh. that was the intent with his tweet, which was phrased as a means of getting some special hip tips. So I'm just going to pop this. Uh, this is a Kotaku story. I'm just going to pop this on the screen for people to actually see as I scroll through this story. Uh, if you're watching on twitch.tv slash game on Oz, if you are listening on the podcast, uh, just keep listening. Um, so at Queer Eye, which is the official Twitter account, uh, yeah. has tweeted out a little picture um, with a easel with a board there. Just says QE, it's next to a sandcastle. It's obviously an Animal Crossing. And it says, hey, Nook Miles plus members, uh, do you need help making your Animal Crossing house a little more sh amazing? Well, at Bobby Burke is so excited to share his interior design expertise with you. Reply to this tweet with pics of your home plus the hashtag QEXAC. Uh, so that'd be Queer Eye times Animal Crossing for some special hip tips. Um, that is great. Now, uh, <laughs> Instead, for the most part, it's simply become a wholesome support network as people with very nice Animal Crossing homes and who may not realise this yet get some public and notable adulation while those with rotting hell holes receive some gentle words of encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, so, uh, here we go. Uh, so, there's uh, a person here who's um, dropped in... Um, uh, I recreated Tifa's Seventh Heaven from Final Fantasy VII as best I could. Yeah. Basin, that's her thing. He's replied back with love. Um, yeah. Another body, another person's put up a picture of their kitchen. Oh my god, that's a little KitchenAid mixer. That's a, that's actually are a you le- joking? A legitimate an actual mixer. Yeah, and like a legit KitchenAid mixer. We have one of those. We have the exact one, except it's yeah. not. Uh, yeah. We we we've got the coffee brown one. We don't have the teal coloured one. God, that's oh, insane. Oh, mine's silver. Um, that's awesome. They're good, eh? How often do you use your ki- your, yeah. your mixer? Oh, once a week. Yeah. I reckon. They're so good. Hey, did you know, by the way, just quickly, I don't know if you know this, mm. we've only just worked this out the last sort of week or so because we've started using ours, or rather Liz has started using ours a lot more because she's she's um smashing out some amazing um, baked goods at the moment. Mm. Um, but... So ours, when you use it, I don't know if people are listening or watching know this about KitchenAid mixers. Um, if you're listening to this on the podcast, you can't see me describe it. But these are the ones where it's got the like the big uh, vertical boom and then it's got the mixing head across the top. Very classic, very almost um, looks like it should actually be in a Fallout game, right? That's, that's, yeah. that's the kind of mixer that it looks like, okay? Now, when you put the bowl and you start mixing something, you get a gudjung, 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 gudjung as the head sort of moves back and forth while it's mixing. Do, do, does yours do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know this until I went Googling a solution. There's a little screw mm. underneath the head in the hinge, mm. and you can adjust mm. that screw to make it higher or lower, and it stops the movement. Oh, God. Insane. We've been, us- Man, we've been using this thing for years, just sort of sitting yeah. there going, well, either it's it's broken or it's not a great one or, you know, this yeah. thing, essentially. When it's all this time, it's the, it's literally a thing, that little screw, and I just undid a little bit just to give it a little bit more, um, I don't know, tighten it up almost uh, in terms of where the head sits, and it doesn't move one? anymore. Hang on a sec. One? Hang on. Yes, that's the one. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. So that's the, that's the mixer. Um, yeah, and where, right. the, where the hinge is, where it sort of moves yep. up when you undo it and lift it, it up. Is, yes. There's a screw in a little pocket there. Yes. Do you know there's a pasta maker attachment for that? Yes, thing? I do. I don't have it. Um, <laughs> I've got the, the roller. Yeah. Um, hey, if... I'm, I'm, I made pasta the other day. Lasagna. You're and kidding. I made pasta. Hey, you make the lasagna, lasagna thing, eh? You make yeah. lasagna, yeah, I just needed some sauce, eh? I was lasagna, yeah? So good. Oh, bloody delicious, mate. Um, not a great gaming crew, but gee whiz, smash now, the lasagna, mate! Oh. It does have one of those um, motorized mixers attachments, but um, if I use anything but the hand crank manual <laughs> version, my nonna will fucking kill me. So, <laughs> so I'm just gonna just keep. We on lost the, your fucking kill, mate. Keep on the so. hey, what are you fucking right. doing? Well, it's good though. The roll looks good. Yeah, very the roll looks good. It's good. It's very therapeutic. It's beautiful. Bloody yeah. Um, okay, so that is uh, that's a little thing. If you guys uh, have Animal Crossing houses and you want um, old Bobby from Queer Eye to check them out, just make sure you tag him um, in your Twitter. Do you reckon he's a gamer? 
Like, would it, is this something he's just stumbled upon? No, no. He, the reason he, I ask is that... He actually plays video games. He does. Yeah, okay. Because I would have thought when someone goes, oh, this is my house that looks like that room from Fallout 76, you know, is he going to go, oh, my God, love it, because it looks like the room, or is he going to go, hate it, that should be there, that, you know, like that kind of thing? Like, I no, know. I, I, like, I know he's a gamer. I don't know how much he's into how gaming serious. per se or how serious, but I guess yeah. it's one of those things where... Like, you know, I mean, if, if Bobby Burke is um, critiquing your Animal Crossing house, I think you're pretty happy no matter what he says. Yeah, um, right. it's, it's awesome. Like, you know, um, we've joked about it, but seriously, you know, I saw an, I saw a meme today, Pete, which you might have seen too, where um, uh, people are, are going out at three in the morning and clapping gamers for not going yes. out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and to me, you know, if there was one crisis in the, that could hit the world that was, yeah, as we know, is suited to gamers, it's this, right? Yeah, 100%. Gaming yeah. all the bloody time, not going out, not socialising in person. Yep. I mean, hello. Yeah. Bloody great. No, I, man, I, I, I wholeheartedly nailed agree. It. Nailed it! <laughs> um, okay, we're going to move on. Dan, yes. uh, what are you playing at the moment, mate? I noticed, um, and people didn't get to see this because they didn't see your picture until we went live but you got call of duty modern warfare um I'll tell you what pate i've fallen in love pate are you are you enjoying it i have fallen in love with that little baby right there now hang on do you know that dan this may be the first time mm. in the mm. history of you and i knowing each other and doing yep. these podcasts and shows and creating game yep. on oz that we can yep. actually game together yeah well, that's right because it's cross platform right it's cross platform gaming this is this is legit got it? a thing i've got it mate i've got it minthonzo's got it nico's got it um reflex has yes! got it um uh vimes has yes! got it taxi's got it like there's there's a heap of us uh who who bloody last night i was playing it dan till all hours oh, with the guys we had um it's funny uh that scares me a little bit because you guys will find out eventually how shit i am at gaming. <laughs> Despite, you know, co-hosting a uh, podcast. Oh, look, it's the squid. Squid's here. Hey, squid. <laughs> hey, squid. Um, Pete says hi. Hi, Pete. Hey. Hi, Pete. Look what Pete's wearing, squid. Is it as beautiful as yours? Yeah, it's better than mine. Look at that. Oh, that's glorious. Thank you. Thanks, squid. He's a complete, he's a complete dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh love it. So, um... I'm a bit worried if we game together that you'll find out how shit I am, except for Pong, Pete. You know I'm pretty good at that. Uh, but also, um, you wanker. Just how, just how, how uh, so any serious strategy for this game I don't possess. I am, I am the Leroy Jenkins, Pete, of Modern Warfare. Leroy Jenkins. Now, okay, so um, I have also been a bit trepidatious about us playing together because you may nice find out how, how shit nice I am. Um, yeah. So it goes, goes hand in hand. We can be shit together, essentially. Mm. I think, and I think that's wonderful. I think that's a beautiful thing for people. Well, it sounds like we've got enough people to carry us. No, we do. Matt, I tell you what, <laughs> um, it's almost embarrassing uh, playing with the likes of Reflex and Menthonzo, for example, because... They're just so good. Like, like you know, into the 20s and 30s with their kills, kill streaks, yeah. the talking strategy yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. And I'm I'm yeah. having a hard enough time just getting off the pause menu. Which, which button's yeah. mellow? Which button's mellow? <laughs> you know, I'll tell you a story. Um, on Saturday uh, night, I had a big night of gaming locked in. And um, as I loathe to admit it on a gaming podcast that I co-host with you, but I was playing Fortnite on uh, Saturday night. With uh, the squad of guys that I've played with for a long time, and uh, actually, and this is worth bringing up, Pete, because I've never seen this. But at about ten o'clock our time, uh, West Western uh, Standard Time, uh, the game squads was no longer available, and we we loaded into what we thought was a squad game, and it's all changed. And there's this big stage in the middle of the island. Oh, you saw um, bloody Travis, uh, Scott. Travis Scott. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm, you know, I'm a crusty old gamer. I've never, no idea who Travis Scott is. And I've gone, what the fuck's going on? Like we, so we, we pulled out and dropped in again. Yeah. Same deal. And, and all these people are going to the stage to 
watch a virtual concert by Travis Scott. And I'm going, and I want a game. I don't want to watch a bloody virtual concert. So <laughs> I um I said to my squad mates, look, I'm just going to leave for a minute. See, because I, I, as you guys have probably uh, been made aware, we've mentioned in, in previous podcasts, but my brother who lived in America for five, six years, he's now back in Australia, back in Perth. His name's uh, Damien, but we call his game name's Hans Bricks. And um, Hansy was playing bloody Call of Duty. So I went over there, ended up gaming until like two in the morning because we just had an absolute ding-dong going on playing yep. Um, yep. old school, you know, in a, in a level playing Modern Warfare. And uh, he's so good, though, that he said to us, right, well, how about all of you guys on to me? So there's three on, three on one. And he beat us 40 14. Jesus Christ, <laughs> man. That is insane. God. He had kill streaks going and bloody, you know, like he was, um, it was just embarrassing, actually. And I've made it, took it, taken it upon myself to try and get better at that game because it's been so long. And that game is um, completely different to how I've played like a Fortnite, for example, for the last couple of years, you know? So crazy. Absolutely crazy, man. Just hectic. Um, but it's good. It, it's really, it's really enjoyable. But best played with friends. Like I don't like jumping in solo um, and running around. And um, yeah, best played for. And I'm, I got to admit, I'm actually enjoying multiplayer more than I am enjoying Warzone. Have you played Warzone? Much Warzone? Yeah. I've played a bit of both. Um, and I agree with you. Uh, Fortnite um, is probably. I wouldn't say it's now the battle royale because PUBG is between that and PUBG. But certainly, um, Warzone's different again. I've I've enjoyed Warzone though. I like the fact there's no building. I've actually um, been advocating that for years with Fortnite. Is that if they produced a version with no building, it might be a different game altogether. Yeah. Uh, the building's a bit too ridiculous for me. Um, I like <laughs> Warzone's. It's a big map too. Warzone, like it's you know huge, right? Yeah, yeah it's a monster. Um, it's a monster, but just playing that old school. We played Rust, which for anyone you know who remembers the old Modern Warfare, Rust is probably my favourite level of all time. Um, a small, compact map with a, to- a big tower in the middle. How did you? It was uh, unreal. You, okay, right. So because I can't remember, I think I might have been talking to. I, it's it was either Reflex Minfonzo. Um, if yeah. I've got that wrong, and whoever it was is watching, please tell me. But I'll let you know. Let me know. Um, but I was talking yeah. to one of them, and they were going, uh, yeah, played a bit of um, uh, Rust and didn't float my boat like it used to. It feels a little bit more sluggish than it did last time, right. if that makes sense. And I, I don't know if you experienced that. Um, no, I didn't notice. It certainly felt a bit bigger. Yeah. Um, and maybe that's what they're talking about. Like, in terms of the map, it just felt 5% bigger, 10% enough. I, I know that um, I remember from Saturday night that it took – I was maybe thinking, geez, it took me a bit, bit longer to get from X point A to point B. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of the tactics, you know, that was probably the game, the level I played the most back in the day. Yeah. And a lot of my tactics went out the window on Sunday night because, yeah, I was getting shot easier than I was the last time around. So maybe that's, yeah, maybe they're, maybe they're right. Yeah. Um, somebody's just dropped in the chat. Rossi Pierce was dropping it. Bring back Terminal. Now, ter- uh, you oh, know, we've, God, we've gotten yes. onto this topic, so we'll just keep going for a little bit. But um, Terminal. Terminal was without a doubt my favorite map uh, from the old series. And yes, I 100% used to hide in the cockpit? Yes, I did. Yep, yep. <laughs> so yeah, 100%, nice. yeah. <laughs> used to love it. And then like, so I'd hide there, I'd get a few kills, and then the um, respawn rotations would, would do their thing. And then I'd get to the end, the other end of the plane and like yeah. you'd see them, you'd see them pop yeah, yeah, up yeah, and yeah. run to the cockpit yeah. and you're just behind <laughs> it going bang, bang, bang. bang. Oh, it was so it's good. One, it's, it's one thing I've noticed about Warzone. And actually, I wanted to bring this up, so it's, I'm glad it's come up. Um, certainly, and even in the uh, in the multiplayer, there seems to be a lot more emphasis on camping, which, you know, if it's that, that's your kind of game, it's a good thing, but I'm not a camper. I like to go and attack. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't fare very well because I get, I get taken out by the campers, particularly in Warzone where they get these ding-dong sniper guns that, and they see, uh, you know, the... Um, the uh, the white outline of you, you know, where they got that fancy scope, yeah. And you're like, uh, you watch, you watch, you watch yourself get done in uh, post game, you know, battle shot. What I do love about Warzone, Pete, actually, I, I want to bring this up too. The kill cam. I, yeah. re- I reckon the Gulag 
is the best thing I've seen in a game. Oh, in a mate, long time. I completely agree. Yes, no, no, I completely agree, mate. It, it, like, what an idea for people to be able to actually interact with the two people that are fighting it out in the middle of it as well. One hundred percent. Yes, I, mate, I, I agree. I, I think it's a great addition. Um, it just, uh, I don't know. It just like the, it never. It, 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 it's hard to explain. It just, I don't know. There's something about it that just really ties the game together. Yeah. To have that second chance, you know, you, you, you get killed and you're like, I died! And you watch you watch the kill cam and you're like, oh, God, camp up. And then you're in the gulag. I reckon yeah. that's bloody great. And to get that second chance at the game, um, mind you, if you've done well enough to get down to the final 10, and you, you get done by someone who's already had been killed once. That's probably sucks a bit, but I, yeah. I'm not that good. So no, I, man, I, I love it. I really, I really think it's fantastic. I really, I think it's brilliant. Um, that's what I've been playing. I've also played a lot of. Pro, I've got back into pro over soccer. Yep. Um, and really hammering it out this time, and I'm loving it. I'm back to that point which you would have had with the FIFA. I'm guessing that you actually develop a team to the point they start to win games, and you wake up in the morning going, "When can I fit in some?" more games today to try and get my team my team about to be promoted so to the Premier League so I'm pretty stoked about that oh, just more time for gaming Dan that's all we need Mate, well, enough hours in the day uh, you know honestly I work from home I'm doing my work in about five hours in the day so I've got I've, I've sort of found a couple of hours spare to game and I'm bloody loving it yeah me too <laughs> no it's bloody brilliant but I'm missing the special yeah. um, I am on Bastion uh, at the moment which is a yep. it's a, a fantastic I, I want to say 2D platformer but there's you know a little bit of 3D element to it but it's a it's a beautiful story based game um, so I'm heading towards the end game of that at the moment um, which funnily enough the like this game's been out for eight years or something. So I'm yeah, yeah. I, the only reason why I purchased it, um, or rather, Miller purchased it by accident. Um, <laughs> I saw accident. that post. Um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, this is this is the reason why I'm playing it. So, but um, like a just a happy, happy, fantastic accident that happened because it's a, it's a ripper game. Um, Call of Duty. Uh, I haven't been able to touch Final Fantasy VII Remake in a couple of weeks, so to get back onto that as well. Um, but the other one that's uh, Heavy D, what's up, mate? Good to have you here. The other one that has um, lobbed into my inbox, yeah. um, I actually just happened to see uh, one of the representatives for the studio. Yeah. Oh, Mystic, thank you for the cheers. Round of cheers from Mystic. Thank you very much, good sir. Yeah, thank you, Mystic. Um, uh, so I was just scrolling through Twitter, and yep. a community slash brand manager for the studio that represents this game appeared, said, hey, any creators out there, lob into my DMs, say hello, I'll send you a copy of this particular game. Right. So I did. Moving right. Out is the name of the game. Have you oh, heard of it? Yes. 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 Yeah. You reviewed it. So I, I got my code um, and I've, it's a, it's on Steam. So I'm looking yeah. forward to giving that a bit of a bash. And um, considering it's so fresh, I might do a couple of late night streams uh, also for the fact that, you know, I don't have to be up early in the morning at the moment this week. Cause I'm well, that's right. Radio, so. From memory, uh, our Nico reviewed it for the website, for our website. I believe and, that um, is the case. I seem to remember him writing something like, look, I've moved out nine times in the last five years. It's a monumental pain in the ass. So why would they make a game about it? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. Uh, well done, great, sir. I, I love the premise of it, you know. Um, and, yeah, you can make a game out of anything. That's the beauty. I mean, they're making a game out of Seinfeld, possibly. So that's, 100%. You know, yep. There you go. Um, mate, so uh, that's, that's that for the time being. And we move along. Now, it's 17 minutes after six. Uh, here in the mm. West. And that means we've got around about 13 minutes left um, until the end of the show, and we love to bang on a mm. bit. So I think we dive into the big question, Dan. <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> uh, Which one? We, we, should we change the song again? Go back to one of the old ones? Well, what are we up to now? Um, well, we're still doing Flash, but do you, you want to do Spanish Flea? Yes, I do want to do Spanish, Spanish Flea. Okay. I do. I do. Okay. All right. I'll uh, go on your cue, all right? Okay. Um, no, I need to go on your queue because you're the one who's oh, slightly do? delayed to me and I'm streaming. Oh, okay. So I'll go on your queue. Right, yeah, okay. So when you're right. ready. One, two, three. It is, it is a big, 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 big question. question. It, it is a big, big, big question. It is a big, 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 big
It's, it's a, a big, big question. question. Love it. Hit us with it, mate. What have you got? Okay. So based on my experience of getting this game, Pete, yeah. this question is uh, yes or no. Well, it's actually a poll. I'm going to run it as a poll on our social media accounts. Okay. So anyone listening and watching will be on uh, uh, Friday when the podcast drops. I love it, a poll. The poll, the poll is, what is easier to open? A condom wrapper? <laughs> Or the plastic wrapper around this thing. Oh my god! Or what's or what's harder to open? What's harder to open? What's harder? To I'm going to vote. I'm going to vote. It's the plastic wrapper around this bloody game. No, I because um... that's a pain in the ass. Well, okay, so I have some thoughts about this. I, I do. Now, hey, can I just can I just say why? Because I, I liken the sense of excitement. When you've got either a condom in your hand or this thing. <laughs> That's what right? I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It, it's similar, right? It's exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. And it's and it's usually around about the same um, time in between the last time and the next time that you yeah. get. That, <laughs> that you manage to get either. Um, <laughs> if uh, if, you, if you, you're one of us who, you know. Well, most of your discretionary <laughs> income goes to the family, so you don't have a lot That's to exactly spend on games. Right. And also you've got two young kids uh, who occasionally kill the mood. So, mate, yes. I, hey, uh, mate, even when I was single, there was no mood. I'm telling you now, it's about the same. That's actually a very good point. So, yeah. So, I think I did it with this. I think I remember doing it with this one where I was like, um, with this. I think I shot like a really quick video where... Um, I that, thought they shot something else. That... <laughs> <laughs> That feeling you get when you're taking the wrapping off a fresh game and it's like, and I, I had a close-up picture and I was like undoing the wrapping and it's like this and then it just... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's exactly how it feels in both regards. Good, sir. And it's, again, you know, I love I love uh, the idea of a good segue, but, you know, uh, talking about the cypher, there is an episode where George ends up getting a soft on yep. because he can't open the wrapper to the, to the condom. So, you know, um, my, what, and what gave the idea was this game. And I'm, I don't know if the PlayStation games have it, Pete, but on the Xbox one, that, that bit there. Um, so you're talking about, a, you're talking about the front bit where it's got like the depression the side, into the plastic. Bit. So you can, yes, you can put correct. your thumb in there yep. and open it. Yeah. 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 That's right. It's covered with plastic really tight. And then there's a sticker. Yeah. And getting the stickers, Getting the stickers okay, but then there's no seam to get the plastic off. I, what I end up always doing is that, and t- you know, and I reckon it took me a minute to open this buddy thing out the day because I was so excited, and it got me thinking. Well, what's what, what's the other time in my life that I'm really excited about something? I know it's when I'm about to get some, and yeah, I've had similar issues with the condom. So we're gonna are we gonna ask that question? Okay, that's a great question. It's one of the great. My money, questions. my money's on the game. Money's yeah. on the game, mate. Yeah, no, my, money, my money's on the game. Um, yeah. My money's on the game. Um, yeah. I don't know. Over the years, I kind of feel like that um, games have gotten harder to open, whereas you know it's the other way around. For yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You kind of you you get good at it. Well, don't do you? We, it's a little bit of do, like this, and bang, do, you're on. Do we do we skew the poll mm. to putting people in a situation? You're 17 years old. You're about to get lucky. Do we skew the Is poll? Is it easier? Yeah. You know, well, do you, do you put a scenario in place? So it's not just any time in your yeah. life. You're 17 years old. You're about to get lucky for the first time. What's harder to open? The condom or Call of Duty Modern Warfare? Um, been, yeah, okay, or, or great. Jedi. Great. great. No, no, I'll I love it. it. I, think it's, it I think that's a great idea. I think that's an absolute <laughs> ripper, mate. So I love it. No, bring it up. Money's on. still on the game. Money's still on the game. Money is certainly still on the game, 100%. And I, it's funny that you you know, you know mentioned that because it is, they're not, they're not bloody easy to get into, these bastards, are they? They're really not. Well, um, this one too. Yeah. This bloody game. The um, disc was uh, – actually, I've got another story to tell, Pete, about this game. Okay. But the disc was absolutely locked into – I thought I was going to break the disc because I was trying to bend it that much to get it out. That um, Honestly, I thought there's not much more tolerance. It finally came out. But we've talked about on a very early podcast about how we get upset that um, digital downloads in, in my example, the Xbox store, the game is generally – uh, probably 25% more expensive than what you get retail in the shops, right? Yeah, well, what did I see recently um, that I went looking for? And it was $99 on the Xbox store. Uh, this. this was it? Was it that? 
This game, two weeks ago, a week ago. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. $99, right? So I ended up going... To no, it was one. AFL Evolution 2. Sorry, oh, it, was, okay. it was AFL Evolution 2, which I remember... Yeah, well, no, you're sense. right. Straight Jacket Jim, thank you for the heads up. It was that, because I distinctly remember yelling at the fact that that game shouldn't be $99 anywhere, let alone yeah, on a digital store. But anyway. Right. But this game, too, was $99, and two weeks ago when I bought it, I looked at that option because I'm a lazy, lazy man, Kate, and I don't want to get up and change discs. And I ended up having to go to three stores in social distancing lockdown, you know. Yep. So I had to wait in line at JB, then I had to, you know, to get in because I only allow certain people in at a time. JB didn't have it. Target didn't have it. I finally got it at beautiful eBay Games for 79 bucks, And I was thinking, bargain. Guess what Xbox did? What? A day later. A day later. <laughs> <laughs> 75 imagine. bucks! Oh, 75 Jesus. bucks! It cost me four bucks! Oh, no. It hurts, doesn't it? I was upset, mate. It's but, a stake uh, to the, the chest. The beauty of that, though, is that I turned on to a couple of mates of mine that um, have it game for a while, and that's the beauty of this, too. Um, a couple of old-school gaming mates that I played the original Goldeneye with, yeah. we've reconnected playing this because um, they finally bought a game that they wanted to... But they're not interested in Fortnite, clearly, because a lot of uh, grown men are... But um, they bought this, and we had a couple of awesome sessions. And it brings back and reiterates what we bloody love, Pete, and that's bloody gaming. Bloody gaming, Dan. I couldn't bloody agree more. I bloody love this. Yeah. Um, hey, just quickly, how do we get – so how do we do this? How do, And people in the chat might watch, might know, how do you and I play our first game together, uh, being Call of Duty Modern oh, Warfare? I, how, actually, how does that happen? I've never played with someone from the dark side, Pete, so there you go. Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> uh, I've got to figure that out because we've got to get that done. We absolutely have to get that done. Because I know, I know in my case, you, you hook up a lobby, lobby in Xbox in the game but in, and then you send an invites through your Xbox. I don't, I'm not sure I could send one to you because we're not connected. But I'll have to have a look. Someone I'll look into it and we'll get, know, Pete. we'll get this done. Mate, I reckon, I reckon that'll do it for the night. It's 25 past six. So that gives us a couple of minutes to piss fight around and say ta-ta. Uh, and, how's uh, the song going, Pete? How's the song going? What song? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> and, uh, Can we give a guarantee that next uh, week will be up? God, yes. I'm going to say yes <laughs> with the same guarantee that I do it every other week. guarantee. That came last week. <laughs> Thanks for the 100 bits. Cheers, Simi, you legend. Uh, okay. Tell you what's saying. Uh, What's not guarantee, Pete, is that I've got Call of Duty a 13 gig update going at the moment. <laughs> so you know my pain. I'm in 2.17 gig in, oh. and I want a game. In, I want a game in two hours, Pete. I don't know what's going to happen. No. Well, I don't know if you'll be back on that game next week, let alone in two hours. <laughs> That's right. Maybe you never know. You never know. Hey, Nico, are you there? Nico, we're looking at you, mate. Oh, we know you're coming hey, up Nico. and you are ready to go. Nico is diving in to take over from here on in for the rest of the evening. One of our legendary legends, core group of stream teamers. Um, and looking forward to seeing what he is ready to go with and what he's going to be playing for your entertainment tonight on twitch.tv slash Gamma on Oz. Dan, it's been wonderful, mate. It's been it's wonderful. Been, I love it. I, I still miss. I can't wait till we can get back together in a studio and do it. Real time. This is great and all, but geez, it's going to be a big hug, mate, when I can hug you. 100%. Do you think we can yet? I mean, we're allowed, uh, what is it, 10? We're allowed uh, like groups of 10 now. Well, in terms of WA, I heard our Premier say the other day that uh, people can go back to work. So I would have thought with that in mind, yeah, potentially. Um, but I know our workplace, because we work at a radio station in our day jobs, um, a little bit funny about people going in because they don't want their shows going down. So. Yeah. Maybe not just yeah. yet, but soon. All right, soon. Certainly. Soon, 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 soon. And next week, what a rip next week's going to be. We're talking to the Seinfeld dude. Yeah, 100%. So look out for that, guys. Um, Actually, a couple of things before we let you go really quickly. Uh, we've already got 10 teams in our 32-team PUBG comp, um, and hey. we're still four weeks out. So it's it's officially a month from today. Um, and that, that'll be uh, that, that weekend. Um, so make sure you guys dive in. If you actually go to, God bless Reflex, he's a legend. If you go to tournament.gameonoz.com, it'll take you straight to the Battlefly page. Okay, so tournament.gameonoz.com. 
tournament.com. I'm going to type that in right now, tournament.gameonoz.com. And if you go there, it'll take you straight to the Battlefly page. It's our Duos PUBG tournament. Oh. 32 teams. It's going to be expertly casted, beautifully broadcasted on that day as well. And it's coming together magnificently. Uh, PUBG North America have jumped in and said, yep, we're going to put you guys on our events page. Uh, we want to continue working oh, with you. Um, and also Battlefy are signaling their support as well. So this is going to be a big one, you guys. It's going to be a big one and a lot of fun. So we hope you join us for it. There's only, uh, as I mentioned, 22 duos teams spots left oh. and it's going to be six matches points for kills and wins over the oh. course of that day as well Damn. so oh. very much looking forward to it uh super rule set is what we're using um but if you got PUBG, i'm telling you grab a partner grab someone from the goa discord maybe even someone you've never met before never spoken yeah. to um why not and dive in and register and get ready to compete on that day because it's going to be magnificent magnificent all right we're gonna get out of here thank you so much for watching for you listening on our podcast thank you so much as well for coming along for the ride we hope you guys are all staying safe and yep. uh to you and your families we're sending much love throughout this time as well and have a great weekend in bloody gaming and as we always say dan don't forget to bloody save yes ta-ta bye everyone see ya bye